Good morning. We're back on East Texas Live on KTK, and joining us this morning is Joanne from Hills Science Diet. Welcome this morning, Joanne. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. You bet. Now, Hills has been sponsoring the Clear the Shelters campaign for five years. Why do you keep coming back? You know, at Hills, we are for all pets, no matter how they come into your home or into your life. But we have a very special place in our hearts for shelter pets. And for the last 20 years, we've been providing nutrition through our Food, Shelter, and Love program to shelter pets all across the country to help make them healthy, happy, and ready to go home. So for us, to sponsor Clear the Shelters is a beautiful extension of that mission that we live year-round to help create new pet families by supporting shelter pet adoption. That's awesome. Tell me, what's different about the Clear the Shelters this year compared to years past? Oh, wow. Well, if there was ever a year to support Clear Shelters and to turn out your friends and family and your neighbors to do the same, it's this year. It's been an extremely tough year for animal welfare organizations across the country. Um, shelter adoption has slowed down a little bit. Intake rates are coming back up. They're not back to where they were pre-pandemic, but they definitely are up over last year. And the combination of the slowdown in adoptions and more pets coming into shelters means there's a lot of animal welfare organizations across across the country right now with a lot of pets that need a second chance to find love. And so it's just a great year to really focus on Clear the Shelters to shine a spotlight on the fact that there are a lot of wonderful pets waiting in shelters, waiting to find a new family. And how will Hills support local shelters during this campaign? We are going to be providing over 75,000 new pet parent kits, little adopter kits, to select shelters all across the United States who are participating in Clear the Shelters this year. Not just shelters that we support through our own food shelter and life program, but hundreds of other organizations that are participating in Clear the Shelters this year. And those little gift bags have coupons or samples, and they have offers from pet stores. They also have some great education around how to be a, uh, the best pet parent possible and what to expect when you bring a new pet into your household. What benefits does a shelter pet bring to your well-being or to your home? Why should someone bring in a shelter pet? Oh my goodness, shelter pets are the absolute best. I, I can't prove it for certain, but you have to think on some level that they know they've been given the second chance to really have a wonderful home. And the joy and the love and the satisfaction that you get from knowing that you help that pet get started on the, on, on the best part of their, the next phase of their life is just truly wonderful. I think you also get a tremendous amount of satisfaction of knowing that you help that local animal welfare organization. They can't find those homes for those adoptable pets unless their community steps forward and becomes a part of that mission. And so you get that double satisfaction of knowing you provided a home for a pet, but you also helped out your, your local animal welfare organization. Absolutely. I myself have a shelter pet at home, and I can tell you that the benefits that that little guy has brought to my home are too many to, to list. Uh, tell people how Absolutely. they can support uh, Clear the Shelters. Well, you know, it's, it's a, as I said, a tough year, and so we also know that not everybody can adopt a pet right now, although we wish that was the case. But there are a variety of ways that you can really turn out to support Clear the Shelters this year, and in fact, your, your local animal welfare organization. You can adopt, that's the ultimate goal, obviously, but a lot of pets really need that second chance through a foster home. So if you have temporary space or some time in your life to foster a pet, now is a great time to reach out to your local shelter or rescue to see how you can help in that regard. And then, of course, donation. Uh, just like a lot of other organizations across the country right now, nonprofits are in the need of, of additional dollars and additional resources. So you can donate money. You can go on and find their wish list and order products for that shelter, things that they need to help them run their organization. And then the last thing that you can do, which is really important, is you can volunteer your own time. Anything from walking dogs to acting as an adoption counselor, you can volunteer your time at a local animal welfare organization and really help to make a difference in their lives at that organization, but also the lives of all of the pets in their care. I think that is so important because often people probably hear clear the shelters and think, oh, it's not a good time for my family, but there are so many other ways that they can help the campaign. There are so many other valuable ways, and all of them with being the world, I'm sure, to the local animal welfare organization in your community. Absolutely. Thanks so much for joining us this morning.